Racing games have always been popular amongst players due to their often outstanding graphics or incredibly fun gameplay, with there being a ton of variety available on offer, as whichever platform you play your games on, it'll have some amazing titles to boast about. So with that being said, let us reveal to you our picks for the 10 best racing games. Gran Turismo is undoubtedly a title that most people will have heard of. The series was introduced all the way back in 1997 and has been up there as one of the best racing games on the market ever since. Its latest edition, Gran Turismo 7, dropped in early 2022 and received immediate praise from the community. In more recent years, Gran Turismo has been exploring the esports scene and taking a small step away from their usual RPG style. However, this release has put the series back on track, feel free to unsubscribe for that joke, and offers the best experience of any Gran Turismo to date. Much the same as previous iterations, this game is a collector's dream, with there being hundreds of cars to obtain and modify in various different ways. You can then take these cars that are unique to you and play through the long and rewarding campaign mode, with every time your tyres touch the tarmac feeling like a whole new experience. In terms of gameplay, there really aren't many other racing games out there that offer this level of immersiveness. But luckily for you, the ones that do just so happen to be on our list as well. Talking of games that provide an ultra-realistic racing experience, our next entrant F1 2021 does exactly that. Since the series began in the year 2000, Formula 1 games have always been fairly predictable, in a good way. However, even though you know what you're getting before you even play, it doesn't take away from the enjoyment one bit. The 2021 edition is comfortably the most streamlined version yet, with the gameplay feeling as smoother than ever before. Seeing as this was the first game in the series to be developed with the Xbox Series X and the PS5 in mind, it does an excellent job of utilising the updated consoles to the best of their capabilities, and also provides the player with some excellent game modes. The career mode has seen an improvement on previous years, with there being much more of an emphasis on car development than before. But where this game sets itself apart from the other titles is its new mode, Breaking Point. This story mode gives you an alternative to the classic F1 experience and is a lot of fun to play through. All of these factors combined make F1 2021 a must play if you're a fan of the racing genre. Ride 4 is the first game on our list that's dedicated solely to motorbikes, and oh boy is it a good one. The Ride series debuted back in 2015 and quickly became a market leader in the motorbike simulation genre, and if you've played any of the Ride games previous to this one, you'll know exactly why it's gotten this praise. The gameplay is perhaps the best on the market and has a delightful flow to it. You also have the option of completing a story mode, which is always welcomed and will keep you busy for hours. The only real downside to the Ride series as a whole is that they don't have the official licensing for the motorbike racing championships, but this is more than made up for by the licensing they do have elsewhere. In fact, most of the bikes that you can unlock and ride are fully licensed, along with a bunch of tracks as well. So even though the competition you're competing in might not be 100% legit, it will feel like it is when you're playing in-game. The multiplayer is also pretty good, with the matchmaking being fairly straightforward and fast, but this definitely isn't the highlight of the game. Overall, gameplay-wise, Ride 4 is the best motorbike simulation out there, and a must-play for anyone who's a fan of racing on two wheels. The next entrant, Forza Horizon 5, was of course a pretty predictable one. The Forza series has been exclusive to Xbox since its initial release in 2005, and is often pitted against Gran Turismo in the battle between Xbox and PlayStation lovers. Well, actually they offer pretty different experiences, and are both fantastic in their own right. We've spoken about Forza Horizon 5 plenty of times on this channel before, and for very good reason. If I was to pick a game from this list that looks the best from a graphics standpoint, it would definitely be this one. The entire open world looks stunning, which is complemented by the large array of different cars to choose from, each with their own unique modifications available. It's honestly amazing in itself that this game runs so smoothly. Even in 4K you'll be getting a respectable 60 frames per second, but aside from how it looks, the gameplay is also brilliant. As previously mentioned, you have a huge open world map to explore, which allows you to drive around for hours without load times. And when you get bored of just free roaming, there are a multitude of different challenges and bonus races for you to complete. You certainly get your money's worth with this one. Now to stray away from the norm a little bit, we have Art of Rally, which is a far less serious racing game to appeal to anyone who's looking for a more relaxing experience. This game was released in 2020 and due to its art style, won't ever really look too outdated. The cartoonish graphics give it a nice and simplistic feel, with most of the emphasis being placed on the actual racing here. Art of Rally also slightly differs from the other games on our list so far in that it's actually a rally car game, so it's a lot less civilised too. 
The actual mechanics are extremely simple, but quite hard to master, as with most rally games, if you turn too quickly or at too much speed, your car will simply skid out. Nevertheless, if you enjoy a more cartoon-like game and don't want to feel like you're actually lining up in the Grand Prix, then Art of Rally could be a suitable choice for you. It's enjoyable and laid back, which is why it's landed a spot on our list. Staying along the same lines as the previous entrant, we have World Rally Championship 10, which is, as is quite obvious, another rally car game. The WRC series began in 2001, with it becoming the go-to game for players to get that immersive feeling of actual rally racing. And of course, naturally, the latest addition to the series is the closest you'll get in terms of simulation. Hurtling through narrow, dusty tracks will have you gripped as you're seemingly always one slightly wrong turn away from crashing. Even if you don't progress through the career mode and only play races, you'll still find it extremely hard to get bored. However, if you do choose to delve into the career mode, then you'll have a blast doing so as well. Along with all of the action-packed gameplay also comes a very official feel, due to the full licensing that the game has. You can race in all of your favourite cars with all of your favourite drivers, with there even being an option to replay historical races from decades past. If you want a serious and nail-biting racing game, then this is definitely your best bet. The second motorbike game that makes our list is MotoGP 2021. Whilst this game may not have as realistic of a feel as Ride 4, it's certainly still a lot of fun. With officially licensed bikes, teams and drivers, you can create your own memorable races on some stunning courses, with the graphics being a massive positive in this title. If barebones racing is your thing, then you'll have no reason to dislike MotoGP 2021. But if you like your racing games with a bit more going on aside from the main campaign and races, then you should probably go for a different game on the list. That being said, the experience you get when playing is up there with any of the others. It really is an extremely well put together game. But we can't help feel it lacks a little variety though, so just bear that in mind when choosing which of these to play. Moving on to a game that certainly isn't lacking additional content, we have Trackmania Turbo. This definitely isn't a game for the traditionalists and offers a much more gimmicky take on the genre as a whole. Each course has its own challenge, with all of them being completely unique. In one race you might be driving upside down for a while using the magnetic wheels, or it could have you driving through large puddles and mud as you struggle to control your steering. The progression system is also pretty unique, as instead of just having to win each race, your main goal is to beat a time set by the computer, with there being three levels of difficulty, bronze, silver and gold. There are also 200 levels to complete, with some of the latter ones requiring you to have a certain amount of gold medals before unlocking them. So I think it's fair to say that Trackmania will definitely keep you busy. One of my personal favourite things about this game though is the replayability. I've spent countless hours trying to beat my best time on one specific level, which does sound a bit sad, but trust me, once you beat that personal best for the first time, you'll be hooked. Now it might seem a bit weird that we've chosen to include Dirt Rally 2.0 instead of the much newer release Dirt 5, but for anyone that's played both, this should make total sense. Whilst Dirt 5 is by no means a bad game, when you compare it to 2.0 it's just simply not as fun. Dirt Rally 2.0 came out a whole year and a half before Dirt 5 in 2019, and lacks the same crisp graphics as the latter, which was designed with the next gen consoles in mind. But that doesn't hinder it one bit, as the gameplay alone lands it firmly on our list. That being said though, it is extremely hard to pick up and play, with it offering possibly the most realistic rally experience of all the games on our list. So if you're a seasoned rally car gamer and you haven't played this yet, you have to try it out. However, if you're looking for a game to just relax on for a couple of hours without really thinking, then we'd advise looking elsewhere. To close out the list, we've chosen Wreckfest, which is a racing game that's more about crossing the finish line in one piece than it is about winning the race. You see, in this game, there are no rules. You're encouraged to crash into other cars, resulting in their car breaking down. Of course, where some of the challenge comes from, though, is being conservative with your own car and making sure that you don't do too much damage to yourself. It's an insanely fun free-for-all which will guarantee endless laughs whether you play it alone or with friends. Also, along with the introduction of the PS5 and Series X, the game now looks a lot better in terms of graphics. So you can now see your opponents have their cars turned into unrecognisable scrap metal in Ultra HD. Who wouldn't want to play a game like that? If you're a casual gamer and just want to laugh without feeling like you need to win at all costs, then you've got to give Wreckfest a try. So that's our list. Hopefully you agreed with most, if not all, of our picks, as if you didn't, I'll be extremely upset. 
If you enjoyed the video and are planning on trying out some of these games, then please do leave us a like. It only takes a second and apparently helps us even if I have no idea how. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, as that definitely does help us. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.